Completing one year next month since I've been surviving out here in the sticks. <laughs> yeah. How long are you in town for? Two days. Um, tonight I'm gonna be visiting my grandmother, and tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm leaving first thing in the morning. Mm. Nice, but we still have today, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. You still remember? Oh yeah. You still remember? Nice, 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 nice. I feel that there is a magic when there is no technology. I have figured out my own philosophy while I was in the forest. Ignorance within technology and within the forest is bliss. Sorry for being philosophical. So, um, oh, how Shannon? <laughs> What's wrong? It's a long story. Oh, please tell me. Give me the scoop of what happened from point A to point B? Well, it all started when I was in Lloyd's basement playing video games, as usual. I am indestructible! Use a potion of harming. Lava bucket! Pick that up. Whoa, Miss Cow. Oh. Shut up and play. What'd you do that for? It's just about to kill the cow. Chuck, if you pause the game one more time, I'll kill you in real life. Keep it on the couch. Hello? Uh, hi, Mom. Yep. What? But I have until 11. Okay, okay. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, right now. Okay, okay. But, yeah, but the sun's still up. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna hang out. Alright, yeah, bye. Well, noobs, gotta go. Wait, where do you think you're freaking going? Isn't it obvious? My mom wants me home. And where's my coat? Wait, you have to finish this. I paid 54 cents for this game. Sorry, if I don't go home now, I'll get grounded for like a month. And then I won't be coming back. Where's my coat? Oh, sorry, Chuck, you're just sitting on it. <sighs> your mom sucks. Well, that's uncalled for. Does your mom know how important this game is? Apparently not. Hey, where are you going? With Chuck. What? Your mom calls class to bedtime too? No, I'm just going to walk him home. Hey, help me out here. What, do you need to tuck you in at night too? Oh, grow up. Hey, you're the one to talk. You still haven't brought back my baby brother Suther yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, at least I don't have my mom pack animal crackers in my school lunch. Hey, I like animal crackers. I had a hippo yesterday. Get out of here if you're going. All right, blowing this place up. Why is your mom on your home so early? Well, I kind of didn't finish my homework, and I sort of failed my last math test. Oh, really? I could help you on your homework. Well, I'd have to ask. I can even sleep over. Don't get your hopes up. It's a school night. My mom never lets people sleep over on school nights. Okay, maybe Friday night then? Well, I'd have to ask. Okay. You know, when was the last time you went to Lloyd's house and you went outside? I don't know. Or pulled a decent prank or went ding dong ditch? I don't know. Are you even listening to me? I don't know. You know, my mom put me up for a block and I hear I'm gonna sleep with Santa in the house. You no, know, I have a really cool tattoo on my butt. Cool, what the heck? Watch where you're going! I typically have to make that cake. Look at what you did, it's completely ruined. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Do you think she likes me? I wouldn't count on it. 
Well, you know, one day I'll bump into the girl of my dreams and Lloyd will still be stuck in his basement. What? You did that on purpose? Well, not her in particular, but one day I will. By bumping into her on purpose? That's just stupid, Chuck. Yeah, well, you know, one day. Good luck with that. Chuck. Hmm? Your house. Oh, oh yeah. But she said yes to sleepover, right? No! Oh. Well, I can sneak in your window. Good luck with that. I'm on the second floor. Oh. Well, see you later. Wait, you're not gonna tuck me in? Okay, okay. See ya. Get off my porch!
So the next day we went swimming. And Owen had to invite Connor. Oh. What's Connor doing here? I'm here to save you guys. But I thought it was just going to be you and me. Nope. Can you guys go? What did you do that for? I was just being helpful. I'm like you in my homework last night. Hey, I did offer to help. You know, I kind of like Connor, but at the same time, I don't. He could get out of control sometimes. That kid has a lot of energy or his proportions. Yeah. yeah. So we got changed and jumped into the pool. We were swimming around, having lots of fun, and then there was this girl, and the guys went and dared me to talk to her. So I went over, and guess what? What? She left. Oh, yes. Yes. oh that was a super funny joke. I didn't even say. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> go over and talk to her. Why? Because. Because isn't a real reason. I learned that in grade one. Okay, fine. Well, maybe she'll go out with me because I was a gentleman and held open the door. Well, good luck with that, Chuck. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. It's totally going to fail. It's a suicide mission. <laughs> that went well. You should have said hi. Oh, all right, thanks. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, where are you? Go You're gonna go? Yeah. What the hell? This is going bad. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see how this plays out. I should have bought the popcorn. This is gonna be a good show. In the change room. Oh. What's it for? Whoa! Some practice. Oh, I didn't know they did that here. Yeah, but my nice. swim practice is after playing swim. That makes sense. Yeah. Wait. They're actually talking. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Where's the doggy? Number? <laughs> oh, I knew I was shooting something. Did you at least get her name? Oh, I knew I was shooting something else. Noodlehead! So, what are you going to do? You didn't get another chance to talk to her, did you? No. Well, I can just wait here. She said swim practice is starting now. You can't just wait outside the girls' change room. Why not? It's creepy, and it's borderline stalking. Fine. My hair's freezing already. 
Hey, I told you to drive. We're gonna go out of the shower. Towels are for wussies. Hey, I'll stick your, I dare you to stick your head in the snow. Oh, so you wanna play truth or dare? I don't wanna play. Um, I didn't, I'm daring you. I didn't say anything about you daring me. Well, that's how the game works. I'm not doing a dare. Yes, you are. Oh, look at the time. I gotta go for supper. Bye. So, are you coming to Woods House to finish the game? Later. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, you're getting hit. You're getting hit. Yeah, I know. Heads up. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm behind you. Okay, Got pick it. that up. Don't answer that. But I have to. I said don't answer that. And I said I have to. Chuck, I swear, if you can't finish one game, me and you are through. Fine, I'll let you answer it. Why me? Because. It's your mom. Won't she get mad at me? Just, just turn it off. Okay, it's off. Okay. Oh, stop. Chuck, it's your mom. Okay. What? Okay, everyone, turn off your phones now. Just, just nope. No, if you do, my mom will kill me. Oh. Gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. Let's just get back to the game. Yeah. Um, hello? Hi. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, bye. You leaving now? Nope. My mom said she wants me to stay overnight because she's going to go out late. Wait. You're staying here overnight? Yeah. I get to anytime I want to. And that's okay with your mom? Yeah. His mom and mine make arrangements all the time. Mom arrangement? Oh, yeah. Can I stay over? No. Uh, yeah, no. Why not? Well, you know, you're an only child and your house is boring and all. Just, but... But what? Just get back to the game. I, I don't take up much space. I can sleep right there on the couch. Don't I get the couch? No, I get the couch. In fact, I get all three. Well, I sleep right there on the floor. Guys, let's just stop pausing the game. Well, can I? Go ask my mom already, dude. Go. What are you doing? Owen's not staying here, too. It doesn't matter. My mom will say no. Just get back to the game. Oh, okay. Oh, are you burning hot? Are you burning hot? Oh, I'll cool you down. I'll cool you down. He said no. Tough break. I'm gonna get back to the game. No, I'm going home. What? No. You gotta at least help us finish this level first. No, I'm going home. Poor guy. He really wants to sleep over. Oh, if you feel that bad for him, you could talk your mom into letting him stay. Well, now that you think of it, I was joking. Yeah, I thought so. Now let's get back to the game. Let's go. Play always guy as well. So I woke up on Lloyd's floor at about 5 a.m. I had to run home as fast as I could. I thought your mom said that you could sleep over. Yeah, well, I lied. She only said that she was gonna stay late. And I wanted to bug Owen. That's just evil. Well, I was running home and I bumped into Shannon. <laughs> I 
I'm so sorry. I was running to swim practice and texting my friend. Oh, well, I was texting my friend and running home. Oh, no, your head is bleeding. Well, uh, it's just a flesh wound. Monty Python, Holy Grail, right? <sighs> yep, a black knight. Well, at least let me get you a bandage. Well, I really have to get home because my mom doesn't know I slept over at my friend's house. Okay, well, my coach doesn't know I'm skipping practice, so my house is just over there. Come on, let's go. All right, fair enough. What happened next? Well, we went back to her house and no one was home, so I wasn't allowed to come in. Oh. So she got a band-aid and fixed the cut on my head. Oh. Well, did you get her phone number or her book of face? What? Sorry, Facebook. Yeah, well, we, yeah, I got her text so we could talk to each other. I like how that turned out, but, um, did you also get a kiss goodbye? What? No, it was our first time we ever met. Well, technically it's your second time since you, like, saw her at the pool, so. That doesn't count, you have to you have to know someone first. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I kind of kissed Melissa here on her second date, so, ha! Yeah, but you knew her for years before because she goes to our school. Ha! Hmm, good point. I take back what I said. Yeah, well, anyway, the next day, Owen came over, and I was still asleep. Chuck. What the? Chuck. What the? Chuck. Personal space. How did you get in here? Well, your mom let me in and told me to wake you up. What? Mom! Never let Owen in the house! I thought we were friends. What are you doing here? We're going to the movies, remember? What? No. Well, I mean, we talked about it, but we never made plans. Well, I'm here, and you're awake, so let's go. <sighs> Fine. Are you paying? As always. Are you texting? No one. Who are you texting? No one. And why are you texting? Remember the girl from the pool the other day? Yeah. Well, that's who I'm texting. You know, I thought it was just going to be me and you going to the movies like we always do. You know, you're starting to sound like we're going on a date or something. Oh, you just crossed the line there. <laughs> Sorry, um, you know, I, I know I'm cool with you, but we're just friends. I am not gay. <laughs> uh, sorry, just joking, but I'm starting to sound like you are. Well, I'm not. It's just that I don't want this girl or any other girl wrecking our friendship. She's not going to wreck our friendship, you dork. We've been friends since grade one. Why would well, some girl wreck that? Well, it's just that you're always talking about her, and now you're constantly texting her. I'm not. R2. Fine, I'll stop texting her. Good. Miss Shannon, I gotta go meet her at the park. What? Wait, what? Call me later. Text me later. What? What about the movie? I don't know. Phone Connor or something. Fat chance. Hey, Connor. You, you want to go see a movie? Yes, I'm okay. Text me. You wish. What? Jokes, jokes. Text me at 6.30 sharp. I'm bad with remembering stuff. Maybe you should text me. 
You would forget me that fast? I would forget anything that fast. Well, maybe if you forget me, then I'll forget about you. Okay, okay, I'll text you. I want that to happen. Jeez, what are you trying to do, kill me? Yes, I'll get my romantic ending, just like the Titanic. Yeah, but I'll have to die. Okay, then we won't do that. Gotta go. All right, see ya. Siri, text Chuck. Okay, what do you want to say to Chuck? Can I come over? Ready to send it? I'll send it. So what happens afterwards? Well, then after I bought Shannon her great gift, then I made my way over to her house, climbed up the side like Spider-Man, uh -uh. and then uh, when I was in her room, I saw this Justin Bieber poster. Ha! Yeah, I know. Ugh.
You know I'm in big trouble if my dad finds you here, right? So, this is your room. Yeah, come in. Thank you. Very nice. And then she kissed you. No. No. Oh. She told me that I was taking her to this concert on Friday. Oh. And then I said, oh, well, looks like you don't want this gift I bought you. And... And then you kissed her. Yeah, no. Oh. Then she said... Then she said that she had three of them already. Oh. Yeah. Three, wait, what, what was it? Purple stuffed bunny. And Shuri had three? Yeah, I know. But, well, since she didn't like it, I said, well, I guess I'm taking you to the concert Friday. And then she kissed you. I uh, know. Then, and I fell on the ground, and her dad heard it all the way downstairs. Oh. My goodness, my dad's coming, quick, get out of here. Shannon, are you okay? Yeah. Can you open the door? Why are you locking your door? What are you doing? Are you up here by yourself? Yeah. And what's all the banging up here? I was practicing my dives. Well, you want to just relax up here? I can't afford to continue to fix the ceiling downstairs. You done your homework? Yeah. Good. So that was a close call. Yeah, well, her dad never looked out the window, so all the good. So then what happened? Well, then I texted her on the way home and...
going? Yeah, change of plans. What do you mean? We're going swimming. Well, I can't now. We have to go to Lloyd's house and help him finish his game. I don't know you want to do stuff Lloyd wants to do. Well, normally I don't, but we did promise him to help finish his game. We can go swimming another time. Fine. See you there? Yeah, sure. Alright, bye. So we got to the next level in our video game, and Lloyd kept getting pissed off at Owen because he was shooting him. And then, so Owen left in a big huff and said, screw this, I'm leaving. How typical. Yeah, and then Lloyd kept getting angry at me for some reason, and picked a fight with me, so I left. Now what? Well, you can go over my house. Uh, hold that thought. Hello? Oh, hi. Yep, I'll be right over. Who's that? Uh, Shannon. Shannon. Who's that? Uh, the girl from the pool. You named it? What? If you named it, then you're going to start getting attached. Duty calls. Wait. I wouldn't go there if I were you. Why not? Because if you do, friendship ends here. Well, don't be like that. No, I'm serious. Don't even call me. Alright, see you later. Oh, Bye. Give up. So I went all the way back to Shannon's house and she wasn't even there. Go figure. Yeah, and then, well, the day of the concert rolls around. And when she answered the door, she told me that I was late. And then, when I said, no I'm not, she said I was late again. And then, when I said we hadn't even organized the time, she told me <laughs> I was late again. Well, anyways, I gave her the tickets we went to the concert, it was loud and noisy. She rushed the stage to try to get an autograph. The security threw us out. What? You what? didn't even get the autograph? <sighs> we went to Tim Hortons and she insisted on sitting outside. Ugh, it's freezing. <laughs> Who goes outside after getting kicked out of a concert? I know, it's, that's it's weird. Warm. It, was, it was the coldest day of the year. That sucks. So the concert was pretty awesome. Until you got us kicked out. So, uh, what does your dad do? Uh, nothing. More importantly, have you ever kissed someone? Um, does my grandma count? No, like a girlfriend. Uh, no. Do you want to kiss someone? Um... Uh, someday. What about you? Well, if the right guy comes along, maybe it'll be fun to try. Like in Cinderella. You have a glass slipper? Oh crap. Gotta go. Yeah, me too. <laughs> You know why you blew it? Because girls love it when guys have experience and they know what they're doing. So you blew it. And trust me, this, this advice I'm giving you is like one year's experience in the wilderness. That has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, it does. You know, girls in the wilderness, and I'm assuming people in the suburbs do like it when you have experience. It's like anything, hunting. People like you better if you're a good hunter because you have experience. I don't know, take my advice. Whatever. You're late. I know, but I was... You're late. I know, but Dad... You're late. I know I'm late, but I was with Cindy and friends. Yeah, yeah, Cindy called here looking for you. So you weren't with Cindy. No. You know we have rules to keep you safe. You know that because you and I wrote those rules. But this is the first time that you've lied to me. Okay. You know what? You're, you're grounded. School and home. That's it until I tell you otherwise. Okay. Let's 
Wait, wait, which way did he go? Okay. Hey, I'm Thanks for helping me look for my phone. No worries. And your girlfriend's actually quite cool. Well, sorry about her kind of wrecking our friendship, maybe thought. No, no, she's actually quite cool. Well, I don't know. Hey, we'll get your phone back and all will be good. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Night. So, I went to her house to see if I could get her home phone number. And when I asked for a pen, she threw down a pen tied to a rock. And so I, I wrote it down and threw it back, and it broke her window. Oh, why'd you break her window? I didn't mean to. I just threw it back. Get out of here, my dad heard you. Who broke the window? That stupid kid running away through rocks at my window. Get back here, I'll call the police. Little brats. Well, you could have like climbed up the wall like a boss or like Spider-Man or like Batman or like... Fight. Batman doesn't climb walls and Superman flies. Good point. It's just not in the wilderness they do. What the? Stop! I'm like, the <laughs> sorry, wilderness, sorry, you're sorry. Not, hey, hey, it's a fact. Okay. You're not good. Okay, okay just continue. Just continue with okay. your life story. And so... No, I didn't find my phone. Owen and I looked everywhere for it. Yeah, I know, I'll have to deliver like thousands of newspapers to buy another. So, did you get in trouble for being late? Ooh, that's not good. Grounded for how long? Oh, don't even joke about that. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, bye. And so, the next day, I came over after school to see if it was all okay. Yeah. And her dad answered the door. Oh, crap! I know, I don't... Luckily, he didn't mention the window, and neither did I. <laughs> Hi. Uh, is Shannon here? Uh, no, she's at uh, swim practice. Are, are you that boy she's been talking to? Um, yes, sir. Okay, you know, we have some rules around this house. First one is, you're not going to visit her here, and she's not going to her place. Oh. You want to see her, you can see her at school. You want to talk to her, you can either phone her or text her on her cell phone. And you want to go to some movies with her or anything else, you talk to me first. Okay. So, if you want to get in touch with her, you probably should text her after swim practice. Okay. You want me to tell her you stop by? No, thanks. Okay, bye.
It was a cold, sad, miserable walk home. That then sucks. there was a knock on my door. Hi. Are you Chuck? Um, who are you? The guy with your phone. Oh. Whew. I've been chatting with your friends, Lloyd and Owen. Now they said this was your phone. Oh, well, thanks for bringing it back. No problem. Um, why? Well, I got my phone back. Oh, nice. And I phoned Shannon right away. And she said, you know, I've been thinking. No. Oh man, I know what that means. Cause, because I was in the wilderness for a year. Shut up about the wilderness, no one cares. Okay, 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 let's see if I know what it means and let's see if you know what it means. In three, two, one, break up. Did she dump you? Yeah. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. This sucks. What are you gonna do now? I should try to get her back. No. I don't I don't think you should because I think you should just move on. Like she dumped you, whatever, screw you, I don't wanna see you ever again. Move on. Yeah, you're right. You're right, I should. Just move on. Anyway, I think I have to go any minute. I could tell by looking at the sun due to my survival instincts. Anyway No, okay. Anyway, I think I must be going now. I think my mom's gonna be coming any second on her moose, so yeah, hopefully I'm not dead by eating the wrong berries and hopefully you're not dead by, I don't know. Hopefully you're not dead, so. Okay, I guess I'll be seeing you next year. All right, see ya. And hopefully I will be able to see you. Okay, bye. bye. It was fun, fun beat stuff. And did you know that um, um, uh, LeBron James' dad is Barack Obama. I know this because like I was actually friends with him. So yeah, yeah. I remember he was like drowning in a pool party, and I actually go, I actually went and saved him. Yeah, yeah. Because right. that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I remember I was going, I was going, I was going down like um, a highway at 300 miles per hour. I hit a deer, but I was going so fast I couldn't half. So yeah. And one time I was fishing and I caught a whale in a river. Not bad. I've, I've seen more impressive things. I mean, I, I caught a meteor mm -hmm. while I was still in the air while I was fishing, so. Yeah, I caught it in my baseball glove instead when I was in left field. No way. Yeah, I know. That's pretty good. It almost crushed oh. me. Oh, Dory. I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I was in my cabin cooking a weasel. 